So a few months ago I tried my hand at making Lego vacuum engines. The first one I made went pretty well, but the second one proved to be a lot more difficult. And it turns out my vacuum was the problem the whole time. So I put off making Lego vacuum engines, because my vacuum couldn't handle it. Until now. See my good friend engineer lent me this vacuum and it can actually run engines. So I wanted to try making Lego vacuum engines again. So today I'm going to be trying to design a bunch of different Lego vacuum engines with almost no vacuum engine building experience. This should be interesting. The first one I tried was a 4x4 SVS. This engine is one of the easiest ones to build. It's got a single sliding valve on the side and a 4x4 piston. Now hold on, before we test this engine out, there's something I want to say. I don't plan on using any kind of lubrication and I'm not super concerned on any kind of efficiency or high RPM. I just want an engine that can run. So now that I got that out of the way, let's test this engine out. All right, so the 4x4 is finished. It's a really simple design. It's just a 4x4 piston and an SVS valve. Let's try it out, see how it runs. That looked promising. All right, that should work a lot better. I really hope nothing explodes. Uh, let's try again. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Hold on. <laughs> oh, hold on just a second here. Uh, I don't want to run that too fast. Okay, that is really fast. Let me get my tachometer on that thing. Yeah. Let's try it out with the tachometer. <laughs> oh man. So according to this thing, um, it reached a maximum of 1,814 RPM. Right out the gate it gets 1,814 RPM with no lubrication and no tuning. Okay, well, I think the next step uh, in this process is going to be putting a working throttle on this guy. So, I'm going to get to work doing that. I think this engine sounds pretty cool. Cool, so the throttle actually kind of works. I don't know if the, the microphone can pick that up or not, but it, it sounded like it works pretty good. Well, now that I know that the SVS engine works pretty good, I decided to make a quick little inline two. This inline two was just another quick little test. I didn't add a throttle or anything to it, and it didn't run super fast, but that was to be expected. Quick little intermission, if you want to see cool builds like this and much more, join my Discord server, there's a link in the description. So with both of these down, I wanted to try a different setup, a 6x6 flathead. Now a 6x6 flathead is what my Briggs & Stratton was, which my other vacuum couldn't run. This is definitely going to be a test to see if this new vacuum can run it. Alright, so the 6x6 poppet engine is built. Uh, this is really one of my first official poppet engines. The first one I made was the old Briggs & Stratton engine, which didn't run good, but now this one should run a lot better, so let's try it out.
I did have a few problems with the valves, but after a little bit of testing and work, I got it to run again. I'd say it's pretty decent for a first time poppet. Well, I'd say today was a major success. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe because I've got a lot of different ideas I want to do for vacuum engines that I'm going to be testing out in the future, so you don't want to miss those when they come out. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.